Hi, today I'm gonna talk about KDPI or Kidney Donor Profile Index. KDPI practically answers the question, how long will the kidney likely last? It's a scoring system from zero to 100, where zero is the best kidney you can get, 100 is the least best kidney you can get. I always say, imagine yourself driving a car with 5,000 miles on it and a car with 100,000 miles on it. There is a difference, correct? Quality. If you get a kidney from a 20-year-old, it's not like getting a kidney from a 70-year-old. They both will work, but one will likely last more than the other. So how did they come up with this score? So they stratify deceased owner according to their age, weight, height, ethnicity, whether the donor was diabetic or not, whether the donor had high blood pressure or not, whether the donor had hepatitis C or exposed to hepatitis C before or not. And that might change soon because there are some data now showing that organs coming from hepatitis C positive donors to hepatitis C negative recipients had very comparable outcome to those with hepatitis C negative to hepatitis C negative. Also, historically, hepatitis C used to be treated with medications that are injurious to the kidney. Nowadays, hepatitis C is now treated with medications that are not so injurious to the kidney. Other factors is the terminal kidney functions or the terminal creatinine of the donor and the cause of death, whether the donor donated after his cardiac death or before his cardiac death. Three other factors come into consideration that determine the longevity of the graft. The distance from the donor to the recipient's hospital, the medical match or HLA match between the donor and the recipient, and how long did the recipient wait for the kidney or how long has he been on the waiting list. Now that we talked about KDPI and got an idea how long will likely the kidney last, there is something called Estimated Post-Transplant Survival Score or APTS. This gives us an idea how long will a recipient likely benefit from a kidney transplant. And this score is only implemented for adults more than 18 years old. Having these two scores lets us aim for a concept, which is giving a good kidney to those who will likely benefit from it longer. By that way, the recipient will get maximum benefit and the discard rate of the kidneys will be much more less. Two more pieces of information. KDPI less than or equal to 35 is given priority to those who are less than 18 years old. Again, the same concept, good kidneys go to those who will likely benefit from it longer. Along those lines, KDPI less than 20 are offered to those with EPTS less than 20 first. KDPI above 85% is usually considered a little bit of a marginal kidney. However, the outcome should be theoretically better than dialysis. So whom to offer the KDPI more than 85%? Every center has its criteria. For example, here we have some criteria where we offer KDPI more than 85%. Number one, the recipient has to accept that and consent for that, that he's willing. By that, you're opening the pool a little bit. Instead of, for example, looking at 10 good kidneys, you look at 15, 10 good, and five with a lesser quality, but still transplantable. Our criteria for KDPI more than 85%, the candidate's age is between 40 and 70 year old, their weight is less than 90 kilograms or 199 pounds. Their panoreactive antibodies or PRA less than 85%. They already started dialysis, but the dialysis time is less than 40 years. They're not kidney pancreas candidates because those usually are offered good organs. Also, those recipients should not have a ready living donor. That's it. Thanks for listening. Talk soon.